It's me, Steve. Have you seen Blue, my puppy? Come on in. Hi, come on in. Hi, can you do this? I can do this because I know a negative exponent. It means dividing by that number of factors instead of multiplying. Like this. Hey, I wonder if Blue can do this. Blue, I have something for you to try. What is 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 4? Blue, the multiplication rule. When multiplying the same base, you add the two exponents together. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Blue. What do you want to do now? We're going to play Blue's Clue. <laughs> Let's figure out what Blue wants to do today. Remember, Blue's paw prints will be on the walls. Blue's Clues. <laughs> we need to clean this up. Let us use the division rule. When dividing to numbers with the same bases, you subtract the exponents. 6 to the power of 5 divided by 6 to the power of 2 is... 6 to the power of 3. Yeah, we did it. You know what we need for Blue's Clues? Our handy dandy notebook. Alright, to open this drawer, we need to know proper form for our answers. 1, no negative exponents. 2, no fractions over fractions. 3, one term only. Here it is. Now we can figure out what Blue wants to do today. Where did Blue go? Whoa, look! Exponents that are a fraction. Go right. <laughs> we are gonna play Blue's Clues, cause it's really fun. Yeah. Clue! Where? Behind you! This calculator will help us simplify this rational expression. So you start by taking the radical and a radical with no number is the square root. Next you take the nth root and you change it to a fraction. So you put in 1 over 3 and here you keep your 1 over 2. You take the 1 third and you put it into the equation and then you sub this into your calculator and that should equal 2. And then you take the 1 half and you sub it into the equation again and your final answer is 2 halves x7, 6. Hey look, it's Jeremy. What are you doing? I have one minute to learn the five types of factoring to beat the level. Let me help you with that. This is common factoring because all the numbers are multiples of 3. This is a simple trinomial because both the numbers multiply together to make the last number and add together to make the middle number. This is decomposition, because it's the opposite of FOIL. This is a perfect square trinomial. It's the square root of the last number, and you take down the sign. This is the difference of squares, because the signs are opposite. Thanks, I beat it. Bye. See you later, Steve. Hi, Steve. We want to learn about polynomials. All right, there's two things you need to know. How to add or subtract and multiply. To add or subtract polynomials, we collect like terms. Terms with the same variables raised to the same exponent are grouped. To multiply, we distribute by foiling and gathering like terms. Thanks, Steve! <laughs> I love mail! Oh, we still need to look for blue space. <laughs> wow, we're in the land of simplifying rational expressions. The only way to get out of here is to learn the three rational expressions. Monomial. The denominator has one term. Binomial. The denominator has two terms. Trinomial. The numerator and the denominator have three terms. Is that a clue? This textbook will help us multiply rational expressions. Here's how to multiply rational expressions. 
Take the formula. You factor all the numerators and denominators as far as possible. So, you take the 3 and the 9, and you make the 9 a 2. You can cross out the A and the 2, and the 3 becomes a 1. You can take out the 2, and the 10 becomes a 5. You take out the B2, and this one becomes a 1. You cancel all the common factors, and it gives you A over 1 times 5B over 3. You multiply the numerators and dom denominators, and you reduce the answer when possible. So your answer will be 5AB over 3. All right, let's go look for more Blue's Clues. Let's go see Big Dog. What up, Big Dog? I'm just adding and subtracting rational expression. How do you do that? You start by using a common denominator, and then you add numerators only. Make sure you watch out for the negatives. Thanks for all the help. Clue! Where? What I'm saying is this To solve this clue, we just have to add monomial denominators. You take your equation and you find a common denominator. In this case, it will be 10 a exponent 3. So you take the first one, so you times it by 2a squared. Take the second one, you times it by 5a. Take the third one, you times it by 10. This is your answer. Next, you add like terms, but in this case there are none, so you just add your terms together and there's your final answer. Now we have all three clues. You know what it's time for? The thinking chair! <laughs> now that we are in the thinking chair, using our clues, we will try to figure out what Blue wants to do today. Hmm. Textbook, pencil, calculator. Do math homework! Woof <laughs> woof! Blue wants to try to do math homework. We just figure out Blue's clues. <laughs> Oh.